The relationship between athletic trainers and team physicians is, is just so critical in the sports medicine model and being able to deliver good health care to your athletes. And I look at my team physicians, I mean, they, they are like my security blanket, if you will. So, you know, when we're on the sideline, I really feel 100% confident that no matter what issue we see, whether it's some type of primary care issue, some type of general medical issue, or some type of traumatic orthopedic issue. I, I really feel confident whatever we see that we're going to be able to manage it. There's not a single player that's come through since I've been here in 13 years that hasn't had some kind of injury. Now most of the fans and media don't know about them because they didn't miss any games. Um, but everybody's got something that we have to work on, take care of, and gotten to know them personality-wise, gotten to know how they re respond to things. and. Um, you know, I've got a lot of them that are, that are my favorites, unfortunately. There's a lot of good ones. You know, each injury is different, and there's some injuries that are very cut and dry and straightforward. So an ACL tear we know has to be reconstructed, we know the situation. Then there are injuries that are very uncommon, like, like hip fracture, where there's not a lot of information on what the best course of action is. He's down, and two is down. Two is injury, for instance. You know, I think there was a lot of discussion, obviously nationwide and probably all over the world about people that know about it, about what is his, his outcome and prognosis was. But none of those people really understood the whole situation. At first, honestly, we, we didn't know what we were dealing with on the field because we thought he had a facial injury, which he did. And then as we start to move him and we start to slowly get him up, we realized we were dealing with something a lot more severe than just that. There was a lot of, of anxiety early on about the Bo Jackson hip situation. I think Bo's situation was very different. He had a different type of injury in terms of the fracture. They didn't know that it was a fracture for a while. He actually tried to rehab initially and it was not something he could get up and walk off with like Bo did. And because of that, there was early recognition he had earlier treatment, which is really critical with these injuries. We got him inside into the x-ray room there in Startful and uh, it took a quick x-ray and Dr. Kane reduced the hip, put it back in place and we got rolling from there. You know, what I told to and his family specifically is I said, look, I'm going to treat him just like he's my son. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to get all the opinions I can get until I find a consensus from the people I trust and, and that I believe in on what the best course of action is and whether that's, you know, to go to this place or this place or to have this procedure. No matter what everybody's opinion is, I'm going to try to assimilate the data because I don't do that particular procedure and advise you guys about what the best course of action is to, to have your best outcome. Dr. Kane literally in the second half of that game is on the sideline making phone calls to experts across the country trying to determine what's the best route for us to take with him. Who is the best surgeon that we need to go to. Dr. Kane knew that he wanted to refer him out and by the end of that day we knew where we were going and the next day we took him to Houston to see Dr. Chip Rout. The key with any of these injuries, especially something like Tua has, is having everybody on the same page and being involved and so I actually have a large group text. I call it the Team Tua. I kind of send out here's our timetable, here's our plan to make sure two understand, to make sure everybody working with him is on the same page to try to control that best we can because I know he's getting pulled a lot of different directions and everybody wants his time and he's very popular and he's got to do certain things for his career but what I don't want to do is have him set his recovery back because of that and that's always a concern with any injury like this is the, the demands of being a well-known athlete versus the demands of having to rehab an injury don't always match well together. You know, Tua is another, you know, unique story. And I know he, he his story is still being written, so to speak. But, you know, so far to this point, he's had a tremendous recovery. And that's a, a credit to Dr. Kane and, and every physician that has been involved with his care and definitely a credit to Tua.